birth and ritual systems of Kaman and Tora Mishmi tribe. Once the pregnancy is confirmed, family plans for the puja, brought matai, the may proper, for the welfare of the new member of the family. The perfect time for this ritual is done during third to sixth month of the pregnancy. It is believed that sooner puja is conducted for the better man of child, as the feeders get the best of all the blessing as early as possible. This Brahmatai Dhamme Propa is conducted for the long life of the child, to have healthy child, to minimize possibilities of deaf, dumb, handicapped, blind and other disability of the child, to reduce pain during the deliveries of the birthing mother and to avoid any other circumstances during deliveries. In this, all the god and goddess of mother and father's side are called upon to bestow their blessing over the mother and a child. Three to four numbers of Kambring, Gua, Kaduat conduct these rituals. The selected bamboo, trees and holy plants are used to prepare before the Brahmatai Dhamme Propa Puja. Vahul, it is the selected bamboos. Hanap. Hanang, it is a selected trees and plants. Antung, palm, it is a taboo symbol and also used in pujas. Nyamblang, Nyapu, it is a seed of sesamum. The ing, a jing, it is for ginger. Tisel, machitaku, it is for holy water. Lapu, ala, it is banana leaves and selected leaves, that is, atiam la, tatiang ala, hambyung la, bije ala, laing la, ala je, and dambyung la, etc. Si, yu, it is for rice wine, kaman mang, ketora, it is for local rice, drong, diu, Black millet, li, bali, medium or large size of female pig, kre apai, kre tiu, tiu tala, tiu che, it is for large size cock and hen. Brahmatai damme propa puja is normally done during decreasing phase of moon provided. There are no other social or spiritual taboos or restriction in the house, that is, type of accident, death of someone, etc. Delivery of some domestic animal in the house is also considered as gena or taboo, locally known as chandai. There should be complete peace and symphony in the family.
family is very conscious and careful during collecting all the items required for the puja so as to avoid any cause over the newborn baby. Before this, Ta'ata Vangya is conducted at the house or holy place that is the Chao Kumya by the family and well wishers. A senior member of the community or head of the family evocates or appeals the Kambring Katuat Gua to conduct Brokmatai Damme Proba for the welfare of the baby and the mother. Before starting the Brokmatai Damme Proba by the Kambring Katuat Gua, it is must to give Myat Mane, it is a mixture of ginger, fried sesame, the ma, mati, and salt which is grind together to powder. This mixture is given by shaman. This puja takes around 7 to 9 hours to complete. As the part of the puja procedure, a pig, cock, and hen are sacrificed. Of course, there must not be any violence or abusive language by any member present in the event. During the whole nine months of the pregnancy, a mother is taken care of well. A new mother and father is restricted from hunting, abusing, death ceremony, types of accidents, watching weird pictures and places, etc. They should not kill the reptile animals, tie ropes as a part of taboo. Similarly, this should be followed after the delivery of a baby up to 10 or 11 days as per faith of family. Time of the delivery of a Mishmi child. If required, yet Mane is fate for the smooth and safe delivery. <laughs> Role of mother, father, and family after the delivery of a baby. For baby girl, Mishmi community follows certain rules after the birth of a baby girl. Strangers are not allowed in the house where the baby and mother are kept. Parents, grandparents, and family are strictly restricted cutting of trees, plucking leaves, making of crafts and handloom, digging earth, killing, that is animals, reptiles, insects, tight ropes, and any other activity which will affect the baby should avoid that. Dried meat should be strictly avoided, similarly for the baby boy. The clothes of the baby should only be washed after four days of the delivery for baby girl. And for the baby boy after five days, clothes should be washed. As per Mishmi community, faith naming ceremony should be held within four to five days. Name will be given by senior family member or by parents to newborn baby. They used to give a name according to the ancestor. For female, mostly used word beginning and ending with Si, Liang, Mai, Sai, Ba, Lu, Lo, Kai, etc. And for male, So, Lum, Ba, Sa, etc. If a baby is female, then mother have to follow taboos for four days. For male baby, 
Mother have to follow taboos for five days. During the taboos, she should not cook food and any other domestic work. For baby girl, father have to follow taboos for nine days, and for baby boy, they are to follow for ten days. During the taboos, he should not wash any clothes and tie the ropes. He should avoid digging of earth and cutting of trees. He should avoid hunting and fishing. He should not eat any dried meat. He should not attend any death ceremony. During the taboos, neighbors and relatives used to visit with some eating item. Black thread is tied on the vest, hands, legs to know the growing progress of a baby. Rules are maintained for under one year baby. Baby's hair shouldn't be cut or shaved. Variety planted bamboo should not be cut by parents. Baby should always be carried in front of the mother, and the mother is mostly in the middle of the group while walking through the rut. Sanitary waste of a baby should not be thrown here and there. Breastfeeding should be covered properly always.